I'm so tapped up. And this is Super Toss the Turtle. You might remember, about eight years ago, I made a little video. Me and my crappy little mic. When I did lots of Flash games. I need to go back and do more Flash games. Flash games are still good. And they still get made. Not as many as before. But hey. There's a bunch of good ones I need to go back and get to. But, uh... This was maybe not one of the earliest, but it was a fairly early one I did. Of course, you gotta watch ads to get the Koopa shells or whatever. Regular turtle, regular human turtle shells, excuse me, different. Ignore the fact that that dude was clearly a Goomba. Oh, get the Muns. Get the Muns! That was a terrible shot. But yes, they made Toss the Turtle into a mobile game. It's still free to play, just like the original one. There's ads and stuff in this one because, you know, it's a mobile game. But hey, you can you can get yourself on them leaderboards. You get some max distance with nukes. Apparently there's nukes, so that's good to know. There's a Lucha Libre thing as well. Hello, Parker. Which is another, you know, launch style game. Get the months. So, if you've never, I don't know how anyone could have never played one of these, but if you've never played something like this before, it's a launch kind of game. It's, you know, you throw things, you upgrade them, and then they go even further, which lets you get more money. Hi, Parker. Thanks for clawing my flesh. Thanks. I don't know how to upgrade in this one yet. Use random character for every 100 shell. Okay. There's Peoples. I think that's a Mr. Kidders. That's a snail, maybe? Doug Trio, the Voltorb. I, don't, I have no idea what any of these are. <laughs> I'm just saying words. Um, so, but how do I up? Oh, is it the shop? I don't know if this is in-app purchases or like upgrades. Okay, no, this is upgrades. I can afford this lad. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, there, there's the creators there. Still by Gonzo. I don't know when this exactly came out, but I'm still glad to see that they still make things. Um, okay. So I can't buy anything yet, apparently. So that sucks. Hmm. Well, let's just fire protects you from spikes. Good advice! Alright, let's try a real straight one. Oh, dead. <laughs> Do you remember? Yes. This is one of them Newgrounds games, what likes its violence. Like most Newgrounds games, honestly. New present, okay. <laughs> Plus 100 dollars for bloody end. That's the kind of game we're playing, you gotta love it. This is pure Newgrounds, and I'm glad to see it on mobile, even if you know, oh, it's got ads in it, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, back when, oh, I should've hit that, actually. Um, I mean, when you played it on Newgrounds, there was ads on Newgrounds itself. They just generally weren't integrated into the games. I mean, sometimes they were. So, I mean, this is... I mean, as long as there's no, you know, infinite Gashapon garbage. I did notice the characters is a random, which I don't approve of that, but as long as you can't get duplicates of a character... It's really duplicates where Gashapon stuff gets particularly insidious. If there's just, like... Um... If it's like the Yoshi's Island thing where, oh, there's 10 items that you can get, and it's random which one you get, but if you take 10 pulls, you get all 10 items. Like, that's fine. That's... I don't even... I wouldn't even call that Gashapon, honestly. Um, that's not the same as, like, the reason I quit Food Fantasy. I realized I never really did an official video on why I quit Food Fantasy. Get my free cash booster. Okay. So you gotta... <laughs> I like that a little less. They gotta teach you to play to get the in-app purchases, but you know, mobile game. Like I said, I, I do expect there'll be some oops, some mobileness to it. There we go. Just explore it right on there. You gotta get those chivos. It's still slightly weird to get mobile chivos. I wanna hit that freaking goomba. Beat that goomba. Explore. Even the edge of the spikes. As a spike ball, I approve of spikes. By the way, since a lot of people do not realize what a tap-tap is, 
Tap tap is um, it's the thing in my avatar. That's that's what it is. It's it's a tap. And the thing in my avatar, it's a tap tap. Since I get both of those questions. There's a Pelipper. Um, hi Parker. Yes. Yes, I'm I'm doing things, honey. By the way, you can still play this on PC, which is exactly what I'm doing. You can see my mouse here. Um, what you got to do, you use Nox Player. It's just an Android emulator you play on your PC. Um, this game doesn't seem to have the absolute best performance in it, but I mean, it's all right. This is a high-end Nox emulator, too. Um, but, you know, it's high-res art. It's, you know, it's made by a Flash game dub. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> nah, I like Flash. I still like Flash. Um... In fact, I've been watching, I've been binge watching uh, Homestar Runner, so it's been a very flashy week over here. I need to get, if you want to recommend some flash stuff that I've missed over the last, I I meant to do a flash comeback when I started doing the uh, Grow games again. Oh, I can get upgrades. Um, see, that's that's a classic thing of of, of Parker. You, I, I blame that one on Parker. I like the backgrounds a lot. Um, he's always had good art. <laughs> this depends a lot of it on, you know, bloody turtle graphics, but hey. Still good art. That's something I think a lot of Flash games that don't get good, uh, you know, don't really get credit for. Um, it allowed a lot of artists with good art to make games that really, you know, either they just get a friend to do the game for them and they provide the art, or, you know, they learn how to animate in Flash and, you know, games in Flash. I mean, it's different from animating, but there's a lot of similarity to it. I mean, it's, you know, you work in the same interface, kind of. So, you know, a lot of people could learn Flash a lot easier than they could learn, you know, something a bit more complicated, a little more, you know. Flash was kind of de developed for designers, not programmers. And honestly, I really wish Flash hadn't... You know, Flash is neat. It's It does what it needs to do. The problem with Flash was only was always people using it for the wrong thing. Um, people would use it for ads and for like video players, and it really was not good for that. Flash was good for games and good for animations. That's what it was for. And I mean, it didn't have the best performance for games, but hey, it was games you could play without installing, and this was at a time way before WebGL and all that stuff. So, um, Flash definitely had its place, and I, I still like Flash games, and like it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to do videos today, and Parker is like, no, you're gonna pay attention to me. Parker's my cat, if you do, are not aware. Somebody... <laughs> somebody commented on my videos a while ago, on one of my videos, that they must have been talking to Parker. They thought I had Tourette's for a moment until they found out that Parker was my cat. Let's see, that's required knowledge, I guess. Just a blown-up robot over there. This definitely has more, uh, I think, more variety of backgrounds than the original Toss the Turtle. It's kind of hard to remember. It's been like, like I said, it's been eight years since I did that video. I don't think I played a lot of Toss the Turtle significantly after that video. And that's kind of another nice thing about Flash games. You know, maybe they're not always amazing, but you can play, like, ten Flash games in, like, one sitting and find something you really like. And that's something you really like may only last you, like, a half hour, but hey. Hey, do best record. Um, but hey, it's fun. And you know, there's so much other stuff to go and see. And I really like that. And I really liked, I really liked something that Flash games do that mobile games do not do. Flash games end. Flash games, um, very often, you know, there was a point where you're like, okay, I'm satisfied. I can end this now. I had my fun. I'm going to do something else. Mobile games never want to end. They kind of want to do the games as a service thing. And, um, they want you to play a single game. There we go. Tracker's <laughs> license. They want you to play a single game for like 18 billion years. I'm not sure if I should have hidden my mouse cursor or not. It's already here, so I won't hide it. I kind of forgot to hide it. But at least you can see how I'm controlling it this way. Mr. Parker. <laughs> Do you have any idea? Do you have any concept of how annoying you are at the moment, Parker? He does. Wait, what? What do you mean this is out of stock, mate? You said you had stuff. It says I can get things. Oh. Oh, I thought this was... Okay. You just have a big... Okay, I got it. I like the soundtrack, too. It's very, uh, Sega genesis -y. Oh. Oh, wow. Game mechanics. Hello. We Angry Birds now. Oh, that was a terrible shot. 
Oh, so the, the cannon, there's different ways of launching too. That's cool. So it's like, it's kind of like multiple different launches in one. A lot of like Newgrounds launches, they would have an extra little gimmick or two to how you would do with the initial launch. Maybe you'd be able to affect the uh, mid shot. There's usually some manner of doing that. And then you kind of just try to hit stuff in the sky. Usually there's some stuff super high up if you can get there. Ow. That'll uh, give you even better boosts. I've played quite a few of these on the channel, and uh, this is kind of getting me in the mood again. This is um, a bit of a blast in the past. Yeah, I really like the Sega Genesis-ness to the soundtrack, the soundtrack. Got some turtle shells, and at least you can get the you know premium currency for free through just playing the game. It doesn't, as far as monetization is concerned, you know, it does a little of the mobile game, you know, onboarding and stuff. But um, I love that awkward pause where he just looks at you like, "Are you proud of yourself? Is this what you? Is this how you get your sick kicks?" And yes, it is. What? It's just a Krabby Patty. Oh my goodness! Did you know they made? Oh no! Get the ah! Oh. We missed the gorilla copter. Um, they're making. Uh, they're making actual like SpongeBob official SpongeBob meme um, figurines, and they look like decent quality figurines. I don't mean like a random Kickstarter. I mean like actual. Who owns SpongeBob? Like Viacom? Who, who issued? Who issues all of the takedown notices? That doesn't happen so much anymore. But <laughs> SpongeBob used to be the absolute death of YouTube poops. In fact, that's where I believe that's where the actual the Sponge Bill Blumpton Scarp um, meme thing came from. Is that people genuinely couldn't say SpongeBob in their video title, or they would get removed, so they would call them ridiculous things. I kind of wanted to fall into the Raffalista. <laughs> that 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 beautiful face. That is my face when I have to read your comments. Not some of you are all right. I added a little, I figured, you know what, everybody else does, I should do a little outro thing for my videos. And I decided to point out that yes, I read all my comments, so don't, don't be stupid in my comments, please. Cause I gotta read those, other people gotta read those. My one rule, really, for comments is, before you leave a comment, think, would literally any other human being be glad they read this? Would, would, would a random person be like, oh yeah, that, that was, that was alright. I do not object to having read this. I don't feel like calling the police after reading this. So, don't post first and all that stuff. Like, because if you get first, you'll probably just get banned, because I really don't like those comments. And I gotta read them, so, you know, may as well ban you while I'm at it. Um, and just, it, you could have had a real first comment and people could have actually read it if you had left a real comment instead of saying first. So think about that next time you try to post first. Be like, hey, this game was pretty cool. Maybe I'll try it out. And maybe like, hey, this art's really great. I'm going to go follow the artist on Twitter. Like, you know, maybe ask a question, you know. As somebody with, you know, pretty extreme social anxiety, pretty much a big stupid head regarding anything social, it's really weird to me that, like, there's these people on the internet that are even worse at, like, conversations than I am. That's like, did you see that sick juke right between those two bombs? That was... That was... I, I felt pain. I felt this pain in myself when I saw that. That was, that was rude. See, and despite the mobileness, the, the progression does not seem drastically slower. I mean, a little bit slower. Usually, flash games like this, I mean, you'd bottom out after like a half hour, maybe. I mean, you could still go further if you want to go for the leaderboard's craziness. Which, you know, usually people just like cheat and, you know, there's no point. But, um, you know, maybe you'd upgrade a little bit faster, but this doesn't seem mobile games to death, I'll call it. You can share for things. Do I get bonus for shares? I better not. I don't actually think I have any social things on this. This is my emulator. If you know mobile games like this, by the way, I'm not opposed to doing mobile games. I have said that I won't do any more Gashapon stuff on the channel after the Food Fantasy situation. I, I like that game, I like the community and stuff, but 
It got way too gross. There was some kind of like knuckles beast. And, oh, oh, it's a bird. It's freaking Braviary. I don't know why I keep calling him Pokemon. I guess it's because he looks like a Cooper, which is not a Pokemon. He looks like a Bulba Squirtle, is what I mean to say. Um, my favorite Pokemon is Bulba Squirtle. Not bad that time. See, if you've never played launchers, this is kind of what you do. You get, you get upgrades. You throw yourself further. You beat yourself into things. That seems like a valid thing to have. I love Mr. Australian from Blasco. I'm pressing a hold to move while flying. Oh, you can fly. Parker, my cat's gonna destroy things if I play this game too long. There we go. See, the jetpacks, quote unquote, let you go higher and stuff, as you, as you might expect. Usually going higher and farther are the two things that you do in launch game. Parker, what are you doing? My cat is attempting to destroy my house. And I think we kind of get... Parker, stop that. Do not do. Hold on. Parker. What is your deal? What is your ordeal? Stop that. He's attacking my bookcase. He's like, he's... There's a magical force field called glass and he does not approve of it. He's trying to dig through it. You can't dig through glass, buddy. It doesn't work. You're like eight. You should know these things. He's like seven or eight now. He still does not know that glass cannot be removed with his feet. Which, honestly, is you should be glad. Do not do! What are you doing? Stop that. You should be glad that you can't dig through glass because, you know, it's very pointy and does not feel good on your feet pelts. Parker? Yes. All right, my my cat is going to destroy my entire house. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Um, if I don't stop recording this video, I think we get the point. Freaking bop that rich Goomba. Um, so yeah, it's cool to see this is back. Um, I'm gonna have to install this on my actual phone. Um, <laughs> that is Super Toss the Turtle. It's out on Android and iOS. Um, there's some other stuff, like like I said, uh, Lucha Libre, I believe it is. The one where you, you know, you're a big, like, buffalo dude. And you do pretty much what you do in this, but, you know, it's slightly different. Ooh! We Donkey Kong Country now! Oh, viciously mauled by a beautiful e- FREEDOM! <laughs> I'm so glad that that happened before I ended the video. And this, there's- there's Sun Gaming. Whoa. Okay. This is going to be a pretty legit run, I can see. Oh, oh! I feel so betrayed by my fellow Spike Ball. Oh, oh well, that was still a really good run. <laughs> anyway, if you want more of that, you can go play the game. That's Super Toss the Turtle. I'm Sir Tap Tap, etc. Oh wait. I just wanted to point out this has, I didn't even check the options menu before. It has, it lets you choose which like autosave thing. So like you, you can be sure that you're not getting like a really bad save. Like I, I've had so many problems with um, mobile game cloud save stuff. And I've had like horror stories from people playing Abyss Dream and stuff and just lose like two years worth of game just gone. Um, so this is really cool. And this is, <laughs> This is actually a Google Play feature that like is super underutilized. Um, that lets you, you know, just automatically, let, like manually, not automatically, pick a save game. Obviously the most recent one is at the top here, but in case maybe I played it on like a different device way back when, I want to pick that one. Um, kind of a little bit of avoidance of, you know, picking the wrong save. I really appreciate that. So cool to see that too. Tap tap here. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon and any relevant links to the game. <laughs>